for this part, 2.3, structure and function of organelles. So as you can see in this diagram, all right, so these are the leads of organelles based on its function. Okay, as an example, the first one, manufacturing and or breakdown of organelles. So there are a few organelles involved, which are, first one is nucleus, ribosome, and also endomembrane system. So endomembrane system consists of another six organelles, which are nuclear envelope, Golgi apparatus, vesicles and vocals, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosome, and also plasma membrane. All right, and then the oxidative organelle is parasitism, and then network of uh, fiber structure, which is cytoskeleton, it can be divided into three, which are microtubules, microfilaments, and intermediate filaments, while uh, extracellular structure uh, are cell wall, extracellular matrix, UCM, then, and also intercellular junction. Okay, and then the last one, energy converting organelles, we are going to look into mitochondria and chloroplasts. Okay, next, uh, we are going to look into the first organelle, which is nucleus. So for eukaryotic cell, it contains most of the DNA. So nucleus uh, contains the DNA that will carry the genetic information for the cell. So some DNA in mitochondria and chloroplasts. So uh, DNA can also be found in mitochondria and chloroplasts. Uh, nucleus are usually a spir a spherical or oval in shape and they are typically located in the central region of the cell. All right, now let's look at the structure of the nucleus. So this is the structure of the nucleus. You can see the one in the middle of the nucleus is called nucleolus. All right, and then the thread-like structure called chromatin. So you can see this is the chromatin. All right, and then uh, this nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear envelope. All right, and then on the nuclear envelope, you can see the nuclear pore, right? So this is the nuclear pore that is formed by a protein called a pore complex. And then you can see on the surface of the nuclear pore, and, and sorry, on the surface of the nuclear envelope and also the ER, rough ER, you can see there are ribosomes that is bounded to it. And then um, this is the nuclear lamina. Right, so nuclear lamina is actually located um, just beneath the nuclear envelope. Right. All right. Now we will look into the components of the nucleus. Right. So first one is the nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane. So nuclear envelope will encloses the nucleus by separating it from the cytoplasm. So it's a double membrane, which uh, each membrane consists of phospholipid bilayer and it is perforated by pores so this pores is called nuclear pore so nuclear pore will surround by a protein structure called pore compact so this pore compact is made up from protein it regulates the entry and exit of macromolecules so this nuclear pore is the one that will allow uh, macromolecules to pass through all right and then next one nucleolus all right is not enclosed by a membrane so it's site for ribosomal RNA synthesis uh, by getting the instruction from the DNA. And it is also the site for protein from the cytoplasm and also RNA assembled into the large and small ribosomal subunit. Okay. The nuclear lamina is a ray of protein filaments or the intermediate filaments. So it lines the inner surface of the nuclear envelope just beneath the nuclear envelope. So this nuclear lamina helps to maintain the shape of the nucleus. All right, next one, nuclear matrix is the network of protein uh, fibers uh, found uh, throughout the nuclear interior. All right, so both nuclear lamina and also nuclear matrix will organize the genetic material inside the nucleus. All right, okay, and then the one, chromosome. So chromosome is actually developed once uh, or when the chromatin become condensed, so it will develop the chromosome. So chromosome contains the DNA molecule. So each chromosome is single DNA molecule with many globular proteins called histone. So histone uh, will bind with uh, DNA molecule and form a chromosome. 
cryogenic coil around the proteins forming chromatin, and then chromatin in later condense, uh, forming chromosome as a cell prepared to divide. Okay, next. All right, another organelles in this chapter is ribosome. So what is ribosome? Structure made of ribosomal RNA and protein. So that means ribosome is composed of RNA and protein. All right, so this is the site for protein synthesis. All right, cell active in protein synthesis will have a large number of ribosome and prominent nucleolus. All right, uh, as example in pancreas cell. So since pancreas cell is an active cell, it will have a huge number of ribosome. So there are two types of ribosome, uh, free ribosome and bound ribosome. Based on the name itself, we should know the characteristics. So free ribosome, it is suspended in the cytosol, so it can be found in the cytosol. So that means it produces protein uh, that will be used inside the cytosol. While bound ribosome, uh, this bound ribosome normally will attach to the uh, ER, the outside of the ER, and also the surface of the nuclear envelope. All right, so uh, this bounded ribosome uh, will produce the protein to be inserted into the membrane or it is to be exported out of the cell, as example, the pancreatic enzyme. So these are the structure of the ribosome. So you can see this is the freely moved ribosome, free ribosome in the cytosol. So this is the ER, the one that is attached, the ribosome that is attached to the ER, that is called bound ribosome, all right? So this is the bound ribosome. Okay, so this is the structure of the ribosome. So ribosome consists of two uh, subunit, large subunit and small subunit. So that's the end of this part. So we'll meet again. Thank you. Bye-bye.